Hello and welcome to TFYLP Microcasters for Tuesday, August 18th. Uh, joined by the usual crew here, uh, Anna and Christian. And so we've been getting in a ton of new figures recently here. And uh, so we have we have a little bit of a backlog and we said, you know, oh, what can we do? Like, you know, the Coneheads just came out, like Scorponok is a new one. We've got some third party that's exciting and all that. And, and you know, Anna and Christian said, no, we, we don't want that. We want knockoff garbage. Well, not knockoff. I guess it's Hasbro. Knock we, want, we want Hasbro. Hasbro. Knockoff of itself? Kids line garbage. <clears throat> whatever uh which is the uh we're doing the cyberverse like repugni I guess. <laughs> right i guess they're repugni it's the target exclusive villains pack for repugnus they're and all pesticons these. are they pesticons is that the name it's just out of the box that's adorable Pugnus and the Pesticons. And, and I apologize Thanks. to the viewers because I do not have the figure myself. And so the extra little box here, I'm just putting it in there so that the aspect ratio is is right. But I will not be showing off my copy because I am actually... You could have for Pugnus toys. Oh, I could have, yeah. I guess There's I actually quite a few Repugnus toys. Nearby, right? I, I guess I could have used the Generations Repugnus instead. So I'm actually pre-downsizing here, uh, you know, from last night's show, if you want to uh, listen to that. But um, I am uh, pre-downsizing by not buying the figure at all. Um, so, but maybe, you know what, after tonight, we'll see what Christian and Anna have to say. Maybe I'm not giving the figure a fair shot and maybe they have amazing things to say about him and it will convince me to buy them for my kids. Um, there you go. So if looking got, at them visually doesn't convince you, we're not going to convince you tonight. You've always got an escape goat and we don't. I can't buy figures for my cat. Yeah, all the bot she bots. She doesn't like them. All, all my bot bots are for my kid. They actually are for my kids. Like they they have a pile of of bot bots. But yeah, that's a really good question, Randall. Randall asked if all the Target exclusives have the Cybertron villains label, and that's a good question because really I couldn't find, and I haven't watched all of Cyberverse. I couldn't really find a depiction of Repugnus as a villain so much. Like maybe a maybe an unaffiliated third party, maybe a troublemaker, but not really a villain. Definitely not a Decepticon, which he does have a Decepticon symbol here. So oh, that part's weird. It is very yeah, all, all of the packs are marketed under that subline. Yeah. So here we have a Repugnus in two shades of green. Um, and it's amazing. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about the the main figure first because it's the. It's the least cool of the pack. What? I'm kidding. The little guys I, are just fine. I was going to say, I mean, I, I feel like that the, the bigger figure, I've been kind of tempted on the original one uh, to get it for my kids, uh, but I had trouble finding it. It wasn't something where, like, that I was actually going to go toy hunting for a one-step figure, so. Right. So this is a very basic figure. It was marketed as a one-step before, but on this packaging, they call it three-steps. So I guess it's a not very many steps. It doesn't have articulated legs figure would be the classification. It's basically a little bug guy with articulated arms. And you can pull his little button here to make his pincer claw thingies go in. It kind of gives him emotion, you know. And, you know, this is how he looks. And this is basically what you get. I mean, this is a pretty, like, accurate repugnus, right? Like, I, for some reason, I collect repugnuses. Don't know why that happened, but I think I must have a fascination with cockroaches or something. But um, he's pretty accurate to what repugnus always looks like, right? Because he's, like, what, our fourth repugnus figure? Yeah. And third in the last couple of years, which is bizarre. Yeah. I guess this is technically the fifth because it's a repaint of an existing right. figure. Because the one-step version is in normal repugnance colors, and this one is in deviant unexplained greens. Um, that evil. We'll get to a guess on why he's in these colors later. <clears throat> but um, 
Yeah, that's basically what he is. You know, he looks like Repugnus. He's squatter than a regular Repugnus. I guess he's about as squat as the um the Titan Master one. That one was pretty squat. Yeah, sure. Because we've had the original G1, we've had the Titan Master, and we've had the Power of the Primes. Fancy monster bot Redeco. Or Wasn't that school. an exclusive as well? I think it was a... Was it a Target? Amazon? No, Amazon exclusive. <laughs> It I think it was Amazon. 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 Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that one's pretty good. I mean, there are, every <laughs> Repugnus toy has actually been good. <laughs> so, this Repugnus toy, we've said a couple times now, it's a one step. You gotta know that walking in. And you right. gotta give it all the caveats that go with that. But the paint and colors on this thing are just so weird and awesome. And I think that's what really sells it to me. I'd say the bug mode, the animal, beast, bug, monster, whatever you want to call them, I'd say that doesn't even really, like, a lot of Cyberverse figures really need paint to look good. This one, I don't feel like it really does. Like, I feel like he looks good as a bug already. His robot mode needs do, paint. Do either of you have the Titans Return, Power of the Primes version, which wherever it came out in, that you could compare? I could grab oh, it. It's not far. I know Kat's you guys just keep asking. the conversation going while you're on a little trip. <laughs> Yay trips. I'll be right back. So, I'll I mean, I, I feel punches. like, so with a one step in general, what I'm mm-hmm. actually looking for myself is because, you know, for the most part, these are for kids, right? I'm looking for something that is a, like a heavy duty toy that's fun to flip back and forth. And so like, that's always felt like the rescue bots did a fantastic job of that. That They were just really fun and really have uh, heavy duty, like the original ones. Um, and so, but then like a lot of the one steps, especially like back with the movie line, um, uh, uh, what was it? Age of Extinction, I think, is when they started doing that, whatever. Like, they were garbage, and, like, the wheels would fall off and stuff. And, like, my kids, like, lost a bunch of the parts and whatnot. And then some of them, like, had, like, a spring mechanism that, like, would break and whatever. And so <clears throat> I, I just felt like a lot of those one steps were all just kind of fails. But I, it seems like this figure, and I don't know if you guys say that, like, it seems like it's relatively solid, right? It's pretty solid. You know, for one steps, I like that springy transformation thing, and this one doesn't really have it. But, it, you know, it's, you just watch me fold it in one go. I mean, here, I'll put it back in bot mode. Well, it, as long done. as the springy, what I'm saying is as if it ends up breaking because of the spring. Like, there's some of the ones that it's fine, and it was it's executed fine, but then there's other ones where it's it's just a problem. I don't think it'll be a big deal on him. I mean, this one doesn't. This nope. one seems fine. Yeah, the only spring that really is involved is the uh, the pincer motion, and you know. But that's fine. fine. And yeah, I guess for losable out. parts, if you really wanted to detach the ball joints, you can. But he has ball joint arms. Yeah, and his hands could hold stuff if you had some extra things for him to play with, sticks or whatever. Um, but yeah, they're, they honestly don't look similar at all, really. Like, I know people have been saying that he's based on the Titans Returns look, but, um, Five millimeter peg. he's, I think they're very different figures. Like, owning both doesn't really make me feel... Like, I'm cheating. I, I know that I, this is going to kind of sound crazy, but I kind of look, I like the profile better in the alt mode of of the one-step Cyberverse one. Like, I actually think, like, I don't know, there's just something chibi about it that looks kind of neat. I honestly think it captures the, the feel of the original a little better. Oh. Just this, like, kind of squat. Oh, yeah, I pulled up my G11 because he's here. Nice. Thank you. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like they match better. Like, I I was a little disappointed in the Power of the Primes one because, I mean, he's good. He's, he's a good toy, but I've had this thing for quite a while, and I really love it. Like, this is one of the weirdest alt modes a Transformer has had, and I adore it. And I feel like this captures it better. It captures more of that weird bug monster. Probably because it's an original mold, you know. His mold was like a thrice remolded monster, so 
Because I feel like yeah. this one did a good job of it, too. Wow, you do collect Repugnite. <laughs> do you collect Repugnite? I like Anna, Anna, one per character. They're all Every different. Every Repugnus ever released. <laughs> right. They're all different Pesticons. They're friends. <laughs> they hit out of Pesticon town. So yeah, this uh, this one step is really good. Like Anna said, the bot mode needs paint. <laughs> I mean, it does. It's a one step. What can you expect? But it doesn't have a lot of paint on the face. But it doesn't look horrible either. It's just that the uh, the monster mode bug head is really covered in paint. Yeah, and that's where the paint operations went, which is good. That was a good place to use them. It could use a little bit more in bot mode. Because that's what repugnance is kind of, and I think that's probably why I don't enjoy the um, this one as much, the Power of the Primes one, is that I feel like repugnance is kind of known for having this like really weird monster but kind of adorable face, and I feel like this one captures it better. You know, it's like it's a weird monster, but it's also very cute. So I like it. The the face sculpt of the robot mode here isn't bad either. You know, Repugnus has always had a pretty plain robot mode face. So it's not exactly going to blow you away or anything. Yep. Yeah, but you it's know, fine. I, feel, I feel like in general that Cyberverse is one of those lines that keep trying to pull me in. Like, I mean, some of their character selections that they do and some of the toys are really fun. I mean, it's not for me as a collector you know but like man i you know you kind of almost wish that you get some of that kind of stuff in generations and obviously like repugnance is a little different but uh, you know some of the ones that we've gotten it's, it just seems like it's kind of fun fun figures they are they're really they're going for creativity like right. i feel like cyberverse has not been afraid to pull out weird creative stuff that they haven't done before i know repugnance has been done before but I feel like they're just letting themselves kind of go and do things. And I feel like that's a lot of fun. Like, that's why I'm owning more and more Cyberverse figures as they go forward. I can't bring myself to get all of them because a lot of them are just kind of really bad toys. Yeah. I you mean, know, the amazing the articulation, that, right? Right. The ones that try to be 20 to $30 toys, but have the articulation you would expect from like a $5 toy. Those are the ones that are problematic. This one that comes in, you know, a four pack and it's originally a one step marketed to children. I don't feel as bad about the fact that it's simplistic. You know, it's simplistic, it's underpainted, it's legs don't move, and that's fine because that's what it is. It's just a simple figure. Oh, it has yeah, hollow backs and legs. I obviously oh, yeah. hate it. Hollow. The, the creativity of these color schemes, the, the one on the bigger figure and the, the three smaller ones, I think really sells the set. Plus, it's, it's 20 bucks, and it's not a huge investment. It's not like, you know, anyone's going to break the bank trying to get this if they want to try it out. It's fun, and that's what Cyberverse is supposed to be, so I'm good with it. Yeah, did you get technical little now. ones at all? Okay, I didn't think you did. Not yet. Look yeah. at these tiny little babies. They are adorable. Yeah, so for some reason, this is the second Cyberverse set to give you a one-step character and then three basically tiny tiny turbo changers. You know, these are very similar in complexity, parts count, and paint to the tiny turbo changers that are sold blind bag for three bucks a piece at rare stores. <laughs> so they never show up in our area here, unfortunately. And um, yeah, you get three of them. And they're not named. They're just called Pesticons. And they're just small, little, rubbery mini guys. Here's their bot modes. Which Seems are like also still cool. adorable. They've got they're, eyes. They're okay. Again, like the uh, bigger figure, the bug mode heads is where they really shine. But yeah, they do have painted chest and they have painted eyes in the bot modes, which is great. The green one's eyes are easy to miss because they're yellow. Yeah, they're not. But they're still painted. They're just they are there. very slight. Um, yeah, they're. I mean, they're just really fun. You know, they don't have enough articulation. No, you know, their arms do try really hard to move those arms. <laughs> it seems like a you know one that should be there by default, but they don't move, and you know that's a bit annoying. I'm not mad at it but you know bot bots are about this size and they do that 
but it's different plastic. It's different philosophy. It's different audience. So whatever. they're a little harder to transform than the one step they came with them than their um, father yeah. figure. Now, the now do these plastic. have a like a waist uh, waist swivel ab crunch kind of thing? They, they have a waist, waist swivel. swivel. I mean, there you go. They, 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 they need it for a head. transformation. And you twist the head back around, and you put it back, and now you're back in monster mode. There you go. Ta-da. Yeah, they're... They're light-hearted, silly, little bug people. No, they're... Officially, they're supposed to be in the setting position, right? Where they kind of look like they're sitting. Tell me we're in the package. Okay whatever they're however you want them to be because they're such simple little figures what did it show no, the instructions did, did you have to pull well, you know what i didn't look at the instructions for these oh i guess that might be their little feats That's yeah i think awesome. those are supposed to be the or wait, i pointed to a robot move one these are supposed to be the feet down here and these are like knees but you know it's however you want to interpret it and if you were to paint it, you can do it however you want. They have a hard time standing with their actual bug mode feet. They don't balance as well. I got, I got it to work. Yeah, it works. It's just... I got to angle it. Okay. I, got I think it. just transforming them almost makes them look better. But it doesn't really matter as long as you can see those adorable little bug faces. They do have adorable bug faces. And like we said for the big one, you know, the, the paint apps are mostly here. That's where they needed to be. That's where you know, this, these figures shine. And you get so three of them. And I really like. I really think that the tiny turbo changers really lend themselves to painting. So, like, you know, probably you don't want to buy these guys thinking they're ever going to be worth money or anything. So, if you wanted to buy them to play paint, um, like I've been with the tiny turbo changers, I think that would totally be a good idea to try to, you know, finish them, so to say. So, side story, I think it was in one of the groups, there was, uh, gosh, what was the, what was the figure? There was, like, some Grimlock action changer, master, whatever. Did, did you see that that post, Christian, on Facebook? That I think I'll Nick so. Nick was uh, was talking about, it. gosh, I, sorry, this isn't a good oh, story. Oh, was it the it, Cyber Battalion thing? Yes. Yeah, so the Cyber Battalion, which is actually worth money because it never came out in the U.S. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, so that some of this kind of stuff could, can be worth money. Probably not this, but but you never know. Probably not. I think you it's really know. just like, kind of how widely available it is and how much people, you know, snap it up. People were instantly talking to me about how oh, you should just wait for these to go on clearance because they're obviously going to go on clearance because they're weird. And honestly, like, I was just like, you know, this is what they don't want to pay full price for because I think they're worth it. They're like, they're an Anna thing. They're a weird, cute bug monster transformer. Like, that is, like, Hasbro went into my head and said, what would you like to own? I said, Repugnus and some babies. <laughs> Yeah, and their unique color schemes got me too. I mean, that's what I'm here for. And you'll notice they're a little bit bigger than the shark babies that came out a while back. Yeah, I did not like the shark babies. I didn't like them one bit. I thought they were yuck. These guys are the, the Pesticon babies are much better. The tiny sharks I really like too. They're not as good, but I mean. I honestly like Repugnus more than I like Sharktacons anyway. So. What? I'm more into this. Repugnus is the cutest thing. It's the cutest transformer. Sharktacons are amazing, though. They're not cute. I think I probably love Repugnus more than Sharktacons. Yeah, he's adorable. <laughs> he's got this goofy bug red. Plus, he's but a yeah, anyway. Not, anyway. <laughs> he was. He was. Um. So I did a little research before we did this episode by watching by watching the, one of the episodes where Repugnus is featured in Cyberverse. So I could try to figure out why there were little baby Repugnuses. And apparently in Cyberverse, there are a whole race of um, not named bug monster people. And, you know, there's an episode in season three that is kind of sort of about racism or classism or something in Repugnuses. It was interesting. But you could go through, because they named a few of them, 
So you could go through and hunt down the ones that these guys look closest to and have them be individuals if you really wanted them. Because there were enough named characters. Like there was a kind of yellowish one who was important to the story that you could probably flub this guy being. Um, whoever, whoever wrote the wiki post said that, where did it go? Um, I lost the main figure. Here it is. <laughs> whoever wrote the current wiki article on this figure had decided that this was probably the repugnant person who was playing a harp during that episode. I guess there was a, there was a lady repugnant that played a harp. And that's probably the one this is because it's closest to her color scheme. So you could go and find characters for them to be if you wanted them to not just be repugnant or not just be weird repugnant colors. And you could fit them into your own continuity. Or not! Or you could just have four silly whimsical toys. <laughs> oh, and they all come with the background. They can, sorry, they come with that background? Yeah. Oh, that's kind of fun. Yeah, the box actually has this little backdrop in it. I mean, it's it's honestly flimsier than the Studio Series ones, and therefore stu- flimsier than the Siege ones. It's not very high quality, but it looks like a place where repugnances would live. Repugni, repuggers, I don't know. I like Pesticons. You called them that earlier. Let's go with that. Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the name of the box, so... I didn't even pay attention. I just no, went you said right you into it. Didn't. Right, you also didn't salvage your wonderful no. display stand. Truth no. be told, I'm probably going to end up throwing away that display stand because it doesn't look good on any of my shelves, but... Yeah, right to the recycling bin. I don't think the Studio Series right there. A little, a little bit bigger, a little bit bigger, bigger turbos. turbos. In general, in general, like they're like they're definitely the same thing. thing. Is tiny turbo changers? I have. You turned have into a back. robot, Anna. Am I? Well, no. blah, so, blah, blah, somehow, blah. as soon as we call it out, then you stop being a robot. But oh, good. So you just have to you just have to acknowledge the robo side, robo ness, yeah. robo me, whatever. Anyway, these um. They are basically tiny turbo changers. Like, this is just one of the Series 1 tiny turbo changers, the Megatron. And it's pretty much the same thing. Now, this Megatron has a terrible alt mode that looks like nothing. Whereas Repugnance has two good modes. So, I guess it's a plus. All right. Well, (laughs) do we have anything else to say? I don't, I don't know Not how much, much to more say. Stretch, stretch this, uh... It's pretty simple, yeah. It's pretty yeah. simple. Hey, I always wanted microcasters to be less than 30 minutes. Look at this. <laughs> there you go. They're, they're cute, they're nifty, they've got cool color schemes, and they're cheap enough to to take a gamble, take an adventure on. This one's not going to fit anywhere in your collection, probably, unless you collect simple one-step figures. I will say, personally, I'm more attracted to getting this. Like, I could see myself, you know, finding this on the shelf and, like, grabbing it compared to that Seeker set that they have where... How many Seekers is? Is it five or six? Four. Five. Four? Four. Who is four? Four is four. Okay. Because they're... Um, However many there is, I it really doesn't matter. Uh, but nevertheless, like that thing is like fifty bucks. I don't see how. Like I mean, like I love the colors. I think it looks really cool. I don't mind the mold, but man, like I just I don't know that I could, you know, spring that. Like I I don't know. Like I guess like collectors are getting it. Like I was like like who's getting that for their kids? You know. I guess maybe you get it for your kids and give them the two you don't want. Like I don't. The colors are fantastic. I think it's the only way to get a few of the Seekers. Yeah. I think it's the only Skywarp that there's been. <laughs> Skywarp is always rare. I don't poor, understand. Poor Skywarp, man. He's always an exclusive. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I wouldn't want to buy it. Like, when I first saw it, I was like, ooh, that's interesting. I really like the color schemes. I find it interesting that they made... Um, Skywarp a woman robot in this one so I thought maybe I could get it and then it was like oh god 
it's $50. I'm not yep. spending $50 on an okay mold. I really enjoy how that mold looks because it kind of looks a little bit like something from Gradius, which is, you know, a shooter game that I've played since I was a little kid. So it's fun to me, oh. but there's a lot it of trades. Sounds like you're getting close like to justifying it. Oh no, yeah. I tried real I, hard. I couldn't. I had the same thought that Anna did. That The set looks really cool. I don't want... I don't, I don't $50 want it. I probably $20 want it. Yeah. I could think, like, even if it was $40, like, you could kind of be like, eh, I've got some target rewards. Like, I might go ahead and get it. Like, use the red card and get percent off. Like, but man, 50 bucks. It's just, yeah, that's, I feel like that secret set, that's one to wait for, for clearance if you can. Yeah, definitely. And it probably might, maybe, I don't want to say that it will. Because who knows? You never know what's going to go on clearance, especially when people are like, people are being weird right now with their purchases and everything else. So people might be buying them just because it's like, oh, it's something. I need to make a purchase. Which, honest to goodness, is that why we got this? Like, I think even if we were being deluged with new toys at the moment, I would still... Because they've got it, a lot of new toys recently, but I really haven't because it's just not the stuff I want right now. But these are just, you know, they're baby bug monsters. That is something I would buy any day of the week. I, I, I would concur with that. Yeah, they're cute. Unfortunately, if you think they're cute too, go grab them. Like the original, they don't make sparks. Does mine still make sparks? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Look at that. Go get them. Wow. These do not. The spray um, could have been a spark maker and burned people's houses down. <laughs> you know, I, I love how the G1 toys, like, created sparks and were guns. Like, it's just so many things where you're like, there's no way that they would create those toys nowadays. So. No, there is no way. I could get all the repugnances up together for a nice shot. Oh, do it. Do it. There you go. Oh, but this one's going to be a bug. Hold on. We got to go out on a good note. Oh, it takes so long to transform. Oh, it's so <laughs> hard. I don't know if I can handle it. Transformation of the year. Look at okay. that. Transforming on camera. Look at that. That's a cool display. Oh, look at that. There you go, the Repugnus family. Uh, Are you going to get the big old fan hobby one too at some point? I, I I think I'm going to pull you all and be like, that's not official, it doesn't count. Oh wow, look at you. <laughs> because of I don't like your, it. Of all your third party oh, stuff. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, I wouldn't get it just to get it. No, I don't I don't like that one, it's bulky. I don't, I don't like the kind of bulky it ended up being. I really don't like the robot mode. I don't love the um, animal mode either. Yeah. But I would, I would, I'd say it's below this one because I, I think the Power of the Prince is my least favorite out of all of these, and I would say the fans' hobby is below it. So somehow, as the price goes up, your satisfaction with it goes down. Well, I'd say he's probably worth more than the Power of the Primes one. Yeah, that's one true. Probably. That's, probably true. that's probably true. Maybe complete. I don't know. Probably since mine sparks, if, if it's complete and has, has a spark, probably. Um, I was going to mention, uh, tomorrow night, uh, we've got Ash My Wallet, or we should, uh, that's going to be on YouTube at 8.30 Central, 9.30 Eastern with Rob and not sure who else is joining. So, uh, if you want to check that out last night on YouTube, we did a, uh, you know, a pretty long episode. I think it was almost a double episode, uh, it was a couple hours long and we brought in a fair amount of the cast by the end. Um, so seven. if you want to check that out. Yeah, we had seven people. Seven seven. That might be a record. We so. started at four, though. I did find out that you could bring in seven people. I think you might even be able to do eight, I guess. I guess we can try that for next time. Um, so, yeah, so if you want to uh, check that out. And I appreciate everyone in the chat who contributed. Uh, thank you to Catherine and Jay Jeffrey and Randall. Um and I guess if you want to continue the chat, uh, if you want to go to Discord, uh, we have a fun little Discord server where you can talk to Anna about how amazing these Cyberverse Repugni are and your Repugnus family. 
I, I will talk about all sorts of chaos with you too. <laughs> There, there you go. I'm just embracing it. I'm honestly not that big of a KO collector, but I'm just embracing it. Whatever. Now that they're getting shut down, you're like, ah, oh, I need to get on this before they dry up. That's all right. That's all right. Gonna be sure to salvage those rare and <laughs> fancy knockoffs. Well, we managed to make it over 30 minutes. So. We did. We we pulled it off over 30 minutes. I, I would like it if we were always this short. That would be a more <laughs> compact experience. Well, considering how easy the transformation and the lack of articulation, all that kind of thing, it's kind of amazing. We probably do have the longest three-step repugnance review on the internet. Probably, so. because it's a conversation. <laughs> it's a conversation about the whole repugnance family. There, there you go. There you go. So. All right. Well, uh, thank you, everyone. And I guess we'll see you next week. All right. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for coming. See you later.